Hello guys and welcome in this video. In this video guys I'm gonna be so glad to share with you the uses and a lot of information regarding Sotalo medicine. Guys before starting this video can you just help me by hitting the like button and as well as subscribe into my channel that will help me to do more videos in the future. I will really appreciate your help guys thank you so uh sotalo is a, a medicine that belongs to a group of medicines called beta blockers it's used to treat atrial fibrillation and other conditions that cause an irregular heartbeat this medicine is only available on prescription it comes as tablets pay facts sotalo Slow down your heart rate and makes it easier for your heart to pump blood around your body. It starts to work after about 4 hours, but it can take 2-3 to three days to fully take effect. Your first dose of Sotalol may make you feel dizzy, so take it at bedtime. After that, if you do not feel dizzy, you can take it in the morning. You will usually take... Sotalol either once a day in the morning or twice a day in the morning and evening. The main side effects of Sotalol are feeling dizzy or sick, feeling tired, having diarrhea or headache. These are usually mild and short-lived. You are more likely to have side effects if you are on a very high dose of Sotalol. Who can and cannot take Sotalol? Sotalol can be taken by adults and children over the age of 12 years. It's also be taken by children under the age of 12 on the advice of their specialist. It's not suitable for everyone. To make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor before starting to take Sotalol if you have ever had an allergic reaction to Sotalol or any other medicine, low blood pressure or slow heart rate, Heart failure, which is getting worse, heart disease, or we have re recently had a heart attack. Any problems with your kidneys? An overactive thyroid? Sotol may take it more difficult to recognize the warning sign of having too much thyroid hormone in your body. Severe blood circulation problems in your limbs, which may make your fingers and toes tingle or turn pale or blue. This might be a less noticeable if you have a black or brown skin. Metabolic acidosis, when there is too much acid in your blood, a lung disease or severe asthma and a severe diarrhea. How and when to take Sotalo? Take Sotalo exactly as your doctor has told you and follow the instructions on the, the label. If you are not sure, check with your doctor or pharmacist. You will usually take Sotalo once or twice a day your doctor may advise you to take your first dose before bedtime because it can make you feel dizzy after the first dose. If you do not feel dizzy, you can take Sotalol in the morning. If you take Sotalol twice a day, try to take it in the morning in the evening. Important! Take Sotalol even if you feel well, as you will still be getting the benefits of the medicine. Doses. Sotalol tablets come in different strengths. 40 mg, 18 mg, and 160 mg. The usual dose of Sotalol is between 80 mg and 320 mg a day. If you get irregular heartbeats several times a day, your doctor may prescribe a higher daily dose of up to 640 mg. If you are older or have kidney problems, your doctor may give you a lower dose. How to take it? You can take Sotalol with or without food, but it's best to do the same each day. Swallow the tablets full with a drink of water. If you forget to take it, if you miss a dose of Sotalol, take it as soon as you remember, unless it's nearly time for your next dose. In this case, just leave out the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Never take two doses at the same time. Never take an extra dose to make up for a forgotten one. If you often forget doses, it may help to set an alarm to remind you. You could also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways to help you remember to take your medicine. Some side effects. Like all medicines, 
Sotomol can cause side effects in some people, but many people have no side effects or only minor ones. Side effects often improve as your body gets used to medicine. Common side effects. These common side effects happen in more than 1 in 100 people. They are usually mild and short-lived. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist if the side effects bother you or last more than a few days. We got a headache, feeling tired, dizzy or weak, cold fingers or toes, diarrhea, feeling or being sick, and stomach pain. And we have here some serious side effects. It happens rarely, but some people have serious side effects when taking Sotol. Contact 911 or your doctor now if the whites of your eyes turn yellow, your skin turns yellow, although this might be less obvious on brown or black skin, or you have pale poo or dark pee, this can be a sign of liver problems. You get nose bleeds that last for more than 10 minutes, unexplained bruising, or you bruise more easily than usual. This can be signs of low numbers of platinum in your blood. How to cope with side effects of Sotalol? What to do about headaches? Make sure you rest and drink plenty of fluids. Do not drink too much alcohol. Ask your pharmacist to recommend a painkiller. Headaches usually go away after the first week of taking Sotalol. Talk to your doctor if the headaches last longer than a week or are severe. About feeling tired, dizzy, or weak. If Sotalol makes you feel dizzy or weak, stop what you are doing and sit or lie down until you feel better. Do not drive, ride a bike, or use tools or machinery if you are feeling tired. Do not drink alcohol as it will make you feel worse. Cold hands or feet. Put your hands or feet in the warm running water. Massage them in the wiggle your fingers and toes. Do not smoke or have drinks with caffeine in, as it can make your blood vessels narrower and restrict your blood flow. Smoking also makes your skin colder. Try wearing mittens, they are warmer than gloves, and warm socks. Do not wear tight watches or uh, bracelets. And finally, regarding stomach pain, try to rest and relax. It can help to eat and drink slowly and have smaller and more frequent meals. Putting a heat pad or covered hot water bowl on your tummy may also help if you are in a lot of pain, speak to your pharmacist or doctor. Guys, that was the video for today. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the like button into my channel. That will help me to do more videos in the future. And thank you guys for watching my video. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below and I will be more happy to answer you. Thank you very much. <laughs>